What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the latest edition of Call Outs TV. This is your boy, John. I'm about to get into this video reaction, man, of Julio Fulio's mom doing an interview with Shea Cheese TV. Now, this is going to be a little different. You know, I'm not going to use the video. I don't want to get flagged and copyright strike. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know how these big bloggers do. So I'm just going to get my reaction off the top, man. Um, you know, that interview that Say Cheese TV did with Julio Fulio's mom, you know, I thought that it was pretty tacky. You know, he could have went out there and spent a couple of dollars like all the other big bloggers do and put Julio Fulio's mom up in a hotel just to show some respect, man. I mean, that interview, okay, you had the little young demons in the background, all right? The coronavirus, the, like, dudes been start wearing the coronavirus mask unless you really out here drilling and spinning blocks. You understand what I'm talking about? Julio Fulio Moms is a 40 to 50-something-year-old woman, and she got them goons, the same niggas that led her son to the graveyard. They were on the side, and you look on the left, you look to the left, you see his bonds are sitting... You know, she's sitting in the chair being interviewed. And then once you look to the left, you can see the savages in the background. You understand what I'm saying? And these are the same dudes that led your son to the graveyard. Now, you was asked questions about did Julio Fulio really go to the 23 gravesite? Was he really going to his opposition's gravesite? Was that a real gravesite of his ops? You was asked that question and you said no. Now, I don't believe you. You understand what I'm saying? Just for the simple fact is, is like, Julio Fulio, your son, was shot. He was shot. He was hit up at 12 years old. And you claim that you were nurse and you were making all this money. So when Say Cheese asked you, did you think about moving away from the environment, getting your son out of that environment where he got shot at? When he asked you, did you move? You said no. You see, I don't like mothers like this. That, you know, they 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 know what their kids is into. They know their kids is up to no good. They know their kids is involved in the street life. They know their kids got friends that they hanging out with that they not supposed to be hanging out with. They hanging out with niggas. Okay, that's spinning blocks. Okay, that's shooting and killing innocent fucking people. And then as soon as somebody go out there and kill your son, take your son away from you, then you want to go out there and start crying and bitching and complaining. The same shit with FBG Duck's mother. She knew that her son was out here making all these diss songs, pissing off the opposition, dissing the ops dead homies. He's dissing oppositions that he ain't even go out there and put no working on. I don't get it with these motherfuckers. And then what raised another red, what raised, that was the biggest red fucking flag for me was that she had the goons in the background. All right. Instead of conducting the interview in a more decent, a more calmer setting, not in no fucking backyard with the hoodlums chilling on the side, smoking or doing whatever the fuck they was doing. This is why your son, Julio Fulio, is in the graveyard because you failed your fucking son your baby father got killed julio fulio's dad was shot in the back of his fucking head when julio fulio was 13 years old so this is a woman that is she's not a stranger to violence and see i don't blame the mothers that can't afford to to get up and relocate once something happened to their child because let's be honest a lot of us we stuck in the hood because of circumstances, okay? We didn't ask, a lot of us, we didn't ask to be here, but this is the generational curse that was placed amongst us from generations of generations of not doing nothing with their life. You understand what I'm saying? So they tie their kids until they stuck. The kids grow up and got to struggle, got to be on welfare and shit like that just to make ends meet, just to survive. But Julio Fulio, he didn't grow up in that situation, okay? He grew up with a mom who had a good job, who had who has a career, who's a nurse. Nurses, they make about between seventy to eighty thousand dollars a year to start out. So she was making enough money to get her and her son out of Jacksonville, Florida, okay, away from the gangs, away from the violence. But she didn't do that. Her son. Come home, would come home when Julio Fulio would come home. 
he would be having conversations with his moms dissing his opposition you understand what I'm talking about I don't believe say Cheese had asked Julio Julio's moms right about the incident about her being shot eight times right she didn't even answer the question on how where was she hit at where was she shot at only thing she said is that she was hit up on the left side of her body but she didn't say I got hit in my back I got hit in my chest I got you feel what I'm saying she didn't say none of that. She didn't. She was. Well, she didn't give the details that the listeners was list was wanting to hear. She didn't give the right details, man. How the hell are you gonna say that you got shot eight times, and then in two two months later you go back to work? That raised the red flag. Another red flag for me, right? She says she got shot. She says she got hit eight times, right? And she was able to drive away from the scene. After getting hit up eight, after you get hit eight times, shit, when you get shot one time, most people are going to be in shock. Their body goes into shock where they're not going to be able, they ain't even going to know where the fuck they at. They're not going to have a clue where they at. So I know this woman is fucking lying. I know she didn't, she might've got shot, but she didn't get shot eight times and was able to recover in two months. Nah, man. Now, ask anybody else that has been shot multiple times, and they'll tell you, 50 Cent, 50 Cent got shot nine times, right? It took more than two months for him to recover. It'll take a year or two. Sometimes it takes years. So, miss me with that bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all motherfuckers, y'all could believe that she got hit up eight times, bro, but I don't believe none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? I believe that She's she 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 caused her son's own death, bro, because she knew what her son was out there doing, and she participated along with him. She might have not been on drills and shit like that, but she was instigating it on, egging it on behind the scenes, man. The same way FBG Duck Mother was doing the same shit with her son when her son was dropping dead ops and all this type of shit. You see what I'm saying? After he done made a song. Chicago Legends. This is FBG Duck. Now we talking about it. After FBG Duck, the main Chicago Legends, he turned around. That's what got FBG Duck killed. Besides all the beef that was going on from years and years with, you know, niggas from Old Block and, and St. Lawrence and all that. You feel what I'm saying? Put that nigga six feet in the ground. They caught FBG Duck slipping at the Gold Coast when he was out going to shot for some Dolce Cabana. And then the old block six hopped out on him and gave him every fucking bullet in the clip. And now Mama Duck is in court crying her fucking eyeballs out, telling dry snitching, telling her, she ain't even dry snitching, she's telling on every fucking body. But yet, she never held her son, FBG Duck, accountable for dissing on his ops. But now that he's dead by the same niggas that he was dissing, you want all of them to go to jail now. But you was the same one behind the scenes, instigating, throwing a battery in your son's back. The same shit here. Now look, look what we got here with Julio Julio Mars. She want them niggas to get locked up. That killed her son. But when her son was home and her son was out here, he was he was living. She ain't say nothing to him. I want y'all to get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share. Subscribe. I'm out.